You need to show the journey that someone takes through your through your business. It should be able to smack you in the face. Not enough coaches, specifically you, are sharing enough of that online. Why do you think we share it all the time? In this video, we are going to challenge you on just how much you are showing in regards to your coaching online. It's a bad hook, but it's kind of what we're doing. So you need to, you need to watch this. Yeah, you, you do need to watch this one. That's a bad hook. Um, that's a bad you one. need to watch this. Yeah. Um, hey guys, we're Dan and Mike uh, from Business and Banter, formerly Biceps and Banter, still the YouTube name because uh, someone else has got the Business and Banter name and they don't even use it. Give so, it all bastards. Yeah. Um, so we'll keep it Biceps and Banter because, as you can tell, I go to the gym. So that works really, really well. Um, and we're here today to help you with your online fitness business in any way that we can. But specifically today, we are talking about what is online coaching? Because a lot of you lot talk about, oh, I do online coaching. Online coaching space is available. Oh, come sign up with my online coaching. Well, what is it? What is it? Because so many coaches out there are so focused on new followers and engagement and growth that they forget to show their product online. And there's this mass confusion of their audience of like, well, I don't know what I'm going to get. And people talk about how, oh, you don't get a meal plan. Okay, what do I get then? Show me this stuff. And not enough coaches, specifically you, are sharing enough of that online because, and part of the reason I think with it is because if you posted that video on a feed, it wouldn't get as much reach or engagement. And mm. that's why people don't post it because, oh, it's going to kill my follower. And, oh, it's gonna, no one's going to follow off the back of that. It's going to kill my reach. Okay, well, let's say you've got a thousand followers. I think it's probably fair to say that some of those thousand followers probably have no idea what online coaching is. So why are you trying to get more followers in who also don't know what it is when you should actually be sharing what it is that you do do? Do do. I said do do. So do do again. Yeah, I mean, if you look at our stuff, um, I'm guessing you probably follow us on Instagram if you're watching this. Um, it'd be unlikely to not be following us on Instagram, but yet watching a YouTube unless it's come up on suggested, which... Welcome. You're in welcome, yeah. It probably hasn't come up on suggested. It doesn't get enough views. Um, but, you know, hey-ho. You probably know, let's just say you're not a client, um, or let's just say you are a client, and prior to joining up with us, you probably know slash knew exactly how coaching runs. You probably know that we're going to track data with you. You've probably seen the spreadsheets. You probably know that we're going to do one-to-one -one calls. You probably know that there's going to be an element of Loom videos. Maybe you don't know the cadence and the pattern, but you probably know it's one-to-one. -one. You probably know you're not going to get passed to another coach. You probably know that there's WhatsApp su support because we show our WhatsApp texts. You probably know we're not going to charge you up front. You probably know that we're not going to call DM you. On the same token, you probably know we're not going to tell you to call DM and we're not going to tell you to charge up front. You probably know we're not going to tie you into a contract. We prob you probably know that we're not going to ask you to tie your clients into a contract. You probably know we care about service. Um, and quality of, of, of service and coaching. And we probably, you probably know that we're going to ask you to, to look after the same. And you probably know all of those because we've shown it. Like, we've shown it over time. And th this is not just one post, because sometimes when we say this, people go away and make one post. What is online coaching? And it's a carousel. Cool. Sad. Yeah. It's not that. It's interspersed pieces of content on your stories, on your feed, within your caption copy, over time to build up the idea that people just know what it is. So then you, you're in your right mind when you are reaching out. You know what you're reaching out to. So I often ask this question to my clients. If you didn't know what we did and I didn't show any of that, would you be more or less likely to reach out? Less likely. You wouldn't be more likely to reach out to something if you don't know what it is. You're definitely more likely to reach out to something if you know exactly what it is that you're reaching out for, right? So then, on that point, whose content conveys what they do as well as what ours does for us? Does yours. And, that, and like you said, too many coaches just do that whole, like, carousel, what is online coaching? And, and again, it's, it's, it's just as bad as doing what you've done before. Because as we discussed on, on one of our other YouTube videos around like your personal journey is you need to show the journey that someone takes through your, through your business, like whether it's a client and you need to intersperse that with some social proof. Like we do it, we used to do it regularly, still do it now in like, I'll share like the success that a client has had, but then I'll also put on their, their, their Loom video and their spreadsheet and their Instagram page. So it's, well, you know that I'm looking at all this stuff. You know that I'm looking at it. You know that I'm looking at their content. You know that I'm picking up these things alongside the fact there's the social proof. 
So it's the fact that it should be intertwined in everything that you do in your stories, in your feed posts, talking through your, you know, checking your client form videos. It could be all sorts of stuff. You could talk about, oh, for example, here's three common problems that everyone does with Bulgarian split squats or, or whatever, right? Why not do that video, but showing a client's form video of you critiquing it and passing on that information to your audience, but then also showing the fact you work with your clients and you give form checks, just as an example. So when I ask the question, I say, well, what is online coaching? Because everyone goes, oh, everyone knows what online coaching is. No, they don't. They don't. But not only that, I want to know how your online coaching works. Why is yours different? Because I would, I would say if you asked the majority of people, if you said to them in the street and you went, right, if you signed up with an online personal trainer, what would you expect? I would bet a large proportion of them, well over half, would say probably a meal plan and then get given a training plan. How non-specific is that? Some people think that they're going to have a live workout over Zoom. That's still what people think it is. They think, oh, so you just do that over FaceTime, do you on Zoom? I go on the golf course all the time and I tell, tell people what I do and I help online coaches do this. And they go, oh, is that just like on Zoom stuff, is it? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, I just, whatever. I'm not going to try and explain it to you. That's what it is. That's what people think this is because of lockdown, because of COVID. That's what people did, and, uh, arguably. You've got to do a better job of explaining what that is and showing why yours is different and why it's not just a meal plan with chicken and broccoli written on it or it's not just a, a meal plan for men's health. Why is that bad or why is that good? Whatever it is. You need to show this. And, and what coaches do, like Mike just said, they post about it once. They'll, they'll watch a video like this, they'll go, oh, I'll do that once. Mm -hmm. And then they wonder why in six months no one's reaching out. Oh, no, they know what it is. I posted about six months ago. Do you really think that your audience remember what you posted six months ago? Do you really think that without constantly going over the same things that it's going to sink in? And I have to say to this coaches all the time is that you are obsessed with your content. You watch it and you look at it all the time. And you think you've spoken about these things enough. Your one piece of content that you post a day, which is probably what you're doing as a bare minimum, by the way, is about three seconds of someone's day. Think of all the stresses and strains you have on a daily basis. And then imagine that, that if I said to you, what did you watch on Instagram yesterday? Name me five posts that you saw on Instagram. You wouldn't be able to name five and the creators and their names and what they do and their services they offer. That's what I'm challenging you on. You need to do this over time, constantly like we do. We do this all the time. And I had one person reach out long ago saying, oh yeah, can we get on a call? Because I love, just love the fact you track all this data. I've never had anyone do this with me before ever. Bingo. Why do you think I share it all the time? That's it. It's that simple. Why do you think we share it all the time? Is what Dan's just said. Why do you think? Like, again. It's because the first time you saw it, you didn't think, oh my God, that's amazing. You thought, oh, different. Yeah. Then the third time, they're still doing that. You Fourth need, time, you see someone's amazing results. You and need, their spreadsheet's all filled in. Not, you not need surprise. to build up and layer up just the idea of people knowing what coaching is. Mm. Like, so with yours, how you can apply this? What about um, just off my one-to-one -one consultation call with a new client? Like, showing that you book a call. That's mm. something that you can do semi-frequently. Um, running through uh, new client Steve's assessment week. Can't wait to get him started. Okay, assessment week. What do you track? Okay. Z Here's why. Here's why we track this stuff. Every client of mine starts with um, a nutrition assessment for the full week to ascertain what they do at the weekdays, weekends, with their protein habits, and so on and so forth. That way I can build them the most bespoke plan possible. Other coaches will use a calorie calculator, which you can get off Google. Mm -hmm. Done. Another one. Training programming. I'm uh, training my, uh, uh, I'm programming today for my client, Steve. I'm about to destroy his legs. He's going to be walking like Stephen Hawking. Right? Little joke. Um, Check-ins with my client, Dan. Um, Dan's lost um, nine pounds in his first four weeks. He's absolutely smashing it. He's one to watch for the next four weeks. Done. Next one. One-to-one -one mm -hmm. call this week to, to cover this with my client, um, I don't know, fucking Jeff. Um, Jeff's got this coming up, and we needed to talk a little bit more detail. Like, mm. show, show people what yeah. it is. Like, and like, like you said about the assessment stuff, is it, it, it leads into exactly what we talked about in the last video around the, like the, the sharing that journey of what you're doing, because... You can bring up the fact that in that assessment, yeah, most people struggle with this. So it's like, it's really common. People come in and they always eat more at the weekends. Like that's, that's just normal. That's, that's, hum that's a human being. Like this is how I get through it. I do the same thing myself. Do you know, like it, it, it all blends itself in. Like all this stuff should blend together. But yet we constantly see coaches just all the time going, just run out of content ideas. And I'm like, what do you mean you're running out of content ideas? How is that even a thing? 
And it's because they're going, oh, I talked about steps the other week. And I talked, again, show me in that assessment week how you calculate someone's steps and why you give them certain targets based on their goal, based on their, alongside their training split. Do you, again, you should be looking at their steps and going, oh, should I give them higher steps? I actually want to train their legs. I want to grow their legs bigger. Actually, maybe I should think about not giving them loads of expenditure. Maybe thinking about that. Is that what some people need if they're trying to get from skinny to jack, like some of my clients that, you know, that, that Ollie works with? Does he need to think about their expenditure a little bit more? Talk about that in your assessment. If I was Ollie, I'd be going over that, going, most coaches just give you 10,000 steps a day. For me, I'm like, actually, can we make sure that in the gym we're training hard enough and all the energy is conserved for that and we don't want to actually do too much expenditure because you've got to eat more food. We actually want to minimize that to a certain degree whilst remaining healthy. Well, how do I do that? Mm -hmm. Fucking hell, like, there you go, a bit of content for you, Ollie, right? But I don't see coaches doing this. They just talk about the same old shit as every other coach without going into why their coaching is unique and different. And if off the back of this video, you don't have a clue of why your coach is unique and different, you need to have a look at yourself. Because you should be able to come up with so much based on what we've just said because you should be at the top of your game. It should be able to smack you in the face how obvious it is, like, with those things, like, that you're talking around. And when I actually think about the, the most successful coaches, they do all of that. Yeah. They, again, and again, alluding back to the previous YouTube video, it's like, show what you do, like, not what you know. It's show what you do. Show mm -hmm. what you're doing with your clients. Like, sh show it. Like, show exactly that because the, the value is in what you're doing because you're, you ha should have buy-in from your own, you know, physique or your own results. What we don't like to see is somebody come up with a Canva carousel that goes, what is online coaching? Um, I do video, check Yeah, video check-ins weekly. 24-7 WhatsApp support. That is fucking garbage. Like, that means nothing. It's useless. Nobody sees how that integrates into their life. That's fucking dire. Mm. Like, instead every week there should be seeds being 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 planted of exactly what you're going to get when you sign up with me and why i am going to change your life based off of how i run things so like you just said that we volley go against the grain i actually look at my client's steps because what i tend to find is that the skinnier guys tend to have more steps they're a little bit more active most coaches will give you 10k which you're probably already hitting i'm going to say can we reduce that down and be a little less active if we can like, it's, it's, it's thinking like that. It's just thinking my niche. What do they need? What do they want? It, it just, it should, like Mike said, smack you in the face. And this is why I always challenge coaches when they've got about a thousand followers and they've got five clients. I'm like, how is bringing in more followers going to help you? There's a thousand people there who do not believe that you're good enough or know enough to help them. That's my challenge to you. You've got a thousand people there that have followed you for whatever reason, right? Something about you, something about what you've done up to this point has led to them following you. They've not bought your product yet. Why not? You don't need 5,000 followers to get 25 online clients. That would be ludicrous. That's just a ridiculous way of going about it. I've got clients who do have got 2,500 followers at 80 clients. They would do this really, really well. They need to grow their following, yeah, because they're, they're, they're absolutely nailed on what their coaching is about and who they work with. You probably don't need more followers. Again, coaches look at this. Oh, I just need more. If I had more followers, I'd get more clients. Incorrect. You've got enough followers. What you don't have is enough followers who know what you do and actually give a shit about what you do enough to want to buy from you. That's the next step that you'll probably need to take with this is to go, am I showing enough of this stuff? And the reason, like I said, come back to the start, coaches don't is because they go, just doesn't really get engagement. All right, it's because the way you're presenting is boring as fuck then. Because I bet you if, again, come back to Ollie, if Ollie posted that sort of stuff, it would get engagement from exactly the right type of person. It would get engagement from the people that were the most likely to sign up for his coaching. Isn't that what you want? If I said to you, would you rather engage 100 people that are really likely to buy from you or 100,000 people who couldn't give a shit about you, which would you rather have? Well, that one, obviously. Well, that's the answer it should be, by the way. Stop looking at the absolute numbers and start realizing that it's better off having a smaller number of people who know exactly what you do than a large number of people who don't have a fucking clue who you are and what you're about. That's what you need to remember when it comes to, to this. And this is the stuff that coaches, A, most coaches don't do, and B, off the back of watching this video, won't implement. If you're one of those 2% of people that do it, you'll be miles ahead of them. And that's what all our clients are doing, by the way. Our one-to-one -one clients are seeing the sort of results that you want. We're telling this all the fucking time. We're just giving it to you for free. All I see is people just posting tips. Oh, they do. Oh, Eddie Abu doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh my God. Tell you what Eddie Abu's doing is he's living the journey. That's what, that's what he's doing, right? So you screaming at your audience, telling them, oh, Eddie Abu doesn't know shit. Show them. Show them that. Show them what your coach is like and why it's different and why you're not just going to tell them this is shit or whatever, right? That, I'm the same as you. It frustrates me when I sit on my Instagram feed and I scroll through it and I'm like, oh. Just tips. It's like coaches are thinking that they're helping people. I'm going to create content to help people out, like protein swaps and tips, and no one 
gives a shit. Like that doesn't ha- that do- that actually doesn't help anybody because nobody implements it. You should be showing people how you're changing people's lives, what you're doing, how you're doing it, what's different. Like the the nuances that you go through through your assessments and how you program, why you would do certain things and why you wouldn't do certain things. Not here's what you should do for this and you should do for here's, that. Here's a chicken sandwich recipe. Like it, it's yeah, it's so far off. And when you think about what you guys buy, right? You would probably agree that what we're saying is correct because the things that would make you guys buy is what would make your clients or your future clients buy, right? You would want to know what you're actually buying. You would want to know what the service is. You would want to know why you're different. If we were just giving out tips all the time, it wouldn't make it, we, I don't think we would have a waiting list until September. No. Because like Dan said, we've got people going, I've seen you track the data. I've seen that. I, I want some of that. Cool. I've seen that you do all the coaching and it, you know, I really want to work with you. On my last mentorship, I kind of got passed off to somebody who didn't really know what they were doing. Okay, cool. How do they know that? Before they've, we've even spoken to them, how do they know that? Are you doing it? Are you doing it? Literally, you can get in a members group and you can literally get all this information, all this stuff, all this help, as much accountability as you can get for 100 quid a month as well, where we go deep into this, but also how to integrate it all with everything else you're doing in terms of, like we talked about then, your onboarding, your assessments. Are you doing assessments? Why are you not doing assessments? We talked through that that whole process of creating a business that people want to be a part of versus just an Instagram account with more followers. Brilliant. Tips. Doesn't mean anything. Tips. Tips. Always give out the tips. And tips and recipes. That's, that's how you go. But, um, but yeah, if you like that, like I said, get in the members group. Link is in the description below. Um, we will leave it there because it's probably long enough. Um, mostly switched off by now. I'd have thought. We'll catch you in a bit. Bye.